Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be teaching you how to use the Microsoft Edge in your daily lesson. Okay, so first, you have to make sure that your, um, your file is in PDF format. Then, you need to right click. Okay. So instead na Adobe uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader ang gagamitin natin. So we will use Microsoft Edge. So ganito yung itsura niya. Okay. So yan. So we have some tools in here like zoom out just like in the Adobe Acrobat. And also zoom in also rotate you can do the full screen okay and also exit now we can fit the page yeah okay. if we click okay so yeah we uh we can find the right format of uh, the size of our lesson here in this fit the page option and you can also have page view pwede natin gawin ganyan pwede rin ganito okay ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo for example wala kayong boses you have sore throat you can use this read aloud option. Basic English learning for kids lesson 2 at the end of the lesson, students will be able to recognize words like sofa slash soft table slash tibla slash televisions. TLVN slash living room slash Libyan rum slash use the this is a underscore sentence pattern. Objective, at the end of the lesson, students will be able to recognize words like sofa soft slash table slash tea blue slash television slash tlvn slash living room slash living room slash use Itong, um, read aloud is very useful when we are um, teaching a particular reading lesson or a particular poem yeah so we can be guided by this read aloud option okay next add notes okay sa add notes let's say okay this one sa add notes pag kinlik natin siya we have four okay four tools sub tools so first yung ballpoint pen pag kinlik natin yan may mga colors and then we can also change the size all right that one so let me just click yellow. Okay. Habang nagtuturo tayo, if we want to emphasize something, then we can just simply highlight or draw okay, a circle of that word. For example, sofa. Sofa. This is a sofa. This is a sofa. Okay. That's how you use the ballpoint pen. Now, what about select text to highlight? Okay. So, yeah, we can choose four colors. Green. So, ito. Ang text dito ay, this is a sofa. So, we can just select it like this. Okay. So, click on the left, uh, left, uh, Okay, yan. So, ganyan. Ganyan siya. Okay? Now, sa erase button naman tayo, okay, dapat naka-press yung left ng mouse nyo. Ayan. Okay. So, yan. That's how important this tool is. Because if you want to emphasize something, then you can use the ballpoint pen, the highlighter, and also eraser. Okay? So, yan. Dito, wala namang... Sige, try natin tong 
touch writing. Parang wala naman siyang ano, function. Hindi ko pa alam kung anong function nito kasi kanina ko pa din na-try eh. This is my first time in using this uh, Microsoft Edge. Okay, so let's try this way. So, basta ang importante lang naman ay yung using or the usage of ballpoint pen, highlighter, and eraser. So that if you are teaching your students, then you are, uh, and, and also if you are um, emphasizing on a particular word, then you can catch your students' attention to read that particular word that is being emphasized. Okay, so yun. You can also print, save, save as, and also, yan, unpin the toolbar, and also pin the toolbar. Kung sa tingin nyo nakakasagabal yung toolbar, ayan, pwede nyo isang i-unpin, and then pag kinlik nyo na yung slides, ganyan ang mangyayari dyan. Okay. So, kung ito lang naman yung gusto nyong function, you can just click the annotation. Yan, iselect nyo lang siya. O pag in-unclick in nyo siya, yan. Okay, ganyan lang siya. Pero pag kinlik nyo siya, yan, mag stay siya doon sa taas. Yan. That's how you use the Microsoft Edge. Okay? So, less hassle tayo sa pag-click ng click doon sa PowerPoint presentation, kahit, uh, kahit hindi mo nagamitin yun, kahit i-convert mo na lang yung file mo sa PDF format and then use the Microsoft Edge, this is very useful. Okay? Yan. Okay? That's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you've learned something. And I hope that you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much.